right, make sure it started there. And we are uh, we are vlogging here. Another uh, vlog from the road here, I guess. Uh, it's on my way to visit my mom at the uh, assisted living uh, <clears throat> community she's in. And uh, thought I would do this, uh, you know, this vlog from the road. I haven't done one of these in a minute, so I figured use the opportunity hopefully no one calls me <laughs> but if that does happen I, and i have to end this abruptly uh that's that's the way it goes on this rainy tuesday afternoon it's april 26 2022 um a couple topics here that i talk about on the road so first of all um So yesterday, uh, the uh, latest team to do the City Connect series for MLB was unveiled their uniform. It's, of course, the uh, Kansas City Royals, and they came out with the uh, the uh, the Fountain City uh, themed jersey and hat. Um, I thought they looked really good. I've been really impressed this year by the City Connect jerseys and hats. Uh, Last year, I thought, you know, and obviously it was the first year they were doing it, so I thought there were some hits and misses. But so far this year, I think it's three for three. I could never get the Nationals, you know, cherry blossom themed jersey. Uh, that sold out real quick. And uh, so obviously that didn't happen. I don't know if there'll be a restock in them or, you know, if I can find one on the secondary market or something. The hat I can get, and I definitely want to get the hat at some point. Um, of course, uh, I said in the last uh, episode, and I, 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 I showed the hat, the Houston Astros, the Space City uh, themed hat, and then of course the jerseys on on order, which I just found out today. I probably will, well, according to the you know MLB shop, it might not be till June, but <laughs> went from May to June. But you never know. I, it's not an exact science when they give the dates. I remember I've had, I, I got st like pre-order something before and it was like saying it's, you know, according to the, you know, what they had for it, it was going to come at certain one month and it came like a month early or whatever. So it's not an exact science, but yeah, it might be till the summer, but I'll get it eventually. I'll get, I'll get it eventually. And I did get the, uh, I did get the, um, the Jose Altuve. Um, replica, like I said, the replica jersey because the the authentics are just they're just crazy prices with Nike. Even now, I mean, the they only had one authentic jersey available uh, for the Royals, and it was uh, Andrew Benintendi. And I think the jersey was like four seventy five. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> but again, they they you know I don't know. It's like the price is, itself is ridiculous, but they. If they just would give uh, 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 the ability to do a custom jersey where you can pick whatever player you want to get, you know, you're very limited at what you can get. And, you know, I was kind of limited with my billing cycle, so I couldn't move on it right away. I, I don't know. You know, that's one that, you know, if I get, I get. If I don't, I don't. I, I wanted a Salvador Perez, and they sold out the first day. Obviously, he's their most popular player, so... Those are gone. I don't know if they'll do a restock or not, but the only ones left are uh, Whit, Whit, uh, Whit Merrifield and uh, Andrew Benintendi. And, you know, just to have a, you know, the, the player isn't always the most important thing when it comes to some of these jerseys, it's just the jersey, you know, just to have, you know, the jersey, if, if it's a jersey I like. So if I had to get a Merrifield or a Benintendi, I would do it. But again, there again, I mean, you know, to have to, it would have been nice to have the ability to just do a custom because then I could have gotten a Perez or, you know, Witt Jr. or, you know, one of those other players that would have been kind of cool to have. But again, you know, just to have the jersey, in that case, it, the player name and number doesn't matter as much. And even now, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, jump on it. There's some other things, including something that popped up last night that I have a little more interest in. It's Phillies related, so... Uh, I have a 
little more interest in that. So, you know, we'll see. Um, but like I said, so far, I think three for three. I, I really like the City Connect uh, jerseys and hats for the teams that did it so far this year. We still got like four more to come. I'm really interested in seeing what the Angels do. And in that case, I think I would be a little more player centric because I would like to get a Mike Trout or an Otani in their City Connect jersey. Um, but, you know, we'll see what they do. And I know there'll be other times. I think the Brewers are doing it. Uh, maybe, if I remember, I think it was like the Rockies, and I forget the other team. There's, there's four more teams. They do seven. But, you know, thinking back about the ones last year, I mean, some of them kind of grew on me. Like, um, and I might get it because it's still available. Uh, the Boston one, which is the marathon-themed one, at first I'm like, ah, you know, I don't know. But that's one that grew on me, uh, and I like it. The more I saw it, and I, you know, I've seen games with them wearing it, and it kind of, it's one of those that kind of grew on me, and I get the meaning behind it. And I got the meaning right away with, for the marathon. But, um, you know, that's one that grew on me. Uh, like, I like the Marlins one. The only thing about the Marlins is, you know, they get the, uh, the only one available is the blank, and it's a replica blank. And I, I'd have to ask before I get it to the people who do the customization if they can customize a, a replica jersey or if it has to be authentic. Because obviously the stitching is going to be a little different when you're talking about authentic name and numbers with a replica, you know, jersey. The material on a replica is different. And, you know, some custom customizers might feel a certain way about that. I don't know. If I had to get the blank, I'd get the blank, you know, because it is a jersey I like. And I get the, the meaning behind it with the Havana, you know, Sugar Kings deal with what they did. I really like the hat. In fact, I'm glad the hat kind of became more available now. They kind of got it back at certain places, so I may have to grab it because that was one. I almost want to say that that hat, the Mar, the 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 Marlin City Connect hat, was the one that sold out the quickest of all the hats that came out for all the you know the seven of them last year. I think that one sold out the quickest. Um, so now you know you kind of have a second chance, maybe make a move. You know, maybe at least at, if anything else, get the hat. You know. Um, you know the the Cubs. I have a I have a hat uh, for the Cubs, and I like the you know the Wrigleyville jerseys. One of those again that kind of grew on me. At first, I was a little lukewarm lukewarm towards it, but yeah, I mean the more I saw it, you know I, I like it. I'll, I'll say this, and I know I'm a little more partial. Sorry to Luca, I'm a little more partial to the Cubbies than the White Sox, but uh, for Chicago, but. Uh, I like what they did more so than the White Sox, and I get why the White Sox did what they did, but I just, and, and, and I agree, because I think Lucas said this too, when you see it in person, it, it's a much better looking jersey than just seeing some stock photos, you know, online, or what have you, it's a better looking jersey, but that's one of those that's better in, in authentic form than replica, so I don't know if I'll ever get the White Sox one. Unless I can get one cheap or something. I don't know. We'll see down the road. Uh, the Dodgers one just, uh, that, to me, that's the worst one. That was that, that was like the Dodgers just saying, you know what? This is us. <laughs> you know, we're traditional. We're going to keep it traditional. We're not doing anything crazy. It's just going to be the Los Dodgers, and this is it. A blue jersey and a hat. Thanks for playing along, Dodgers. So that one, I don't think that that's probably the least. That if, if there was one that was going to be least going to happen for me, it's going to be that one. The Diamondbacks one's another one that kind of grew on me. At first, I wasn't a big fan. I didn't like the color, but it kind of grew on me. Um, the only jersey I see is, rep, is is the blank. I believe it's the replica. Uh, but it kind of grew on me. Whether or not I ever get one, I don't know. The Nationals one's the one I really would like to get the jersey of because I think the, the cherry blossoms on it really pop. Um, but, again, that's one of those that, you know, it uh, sold out super fast, and it's not surprising. Uh, Astros taken care of, and then the Royals that just came out. And I think that's all of them. I think I've gone over all of them, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and... Uh, so, you know, it's something I like. I mean, 
you know, I, I understand how some people are like, ah, it's too many jerseys, you know, and, and all this stuff with Nike, with the city edition, the statement for the NBA, all these different things, and football, they're doing stuff, hockey, they're doing the retro reverse. I never remember if it's retro reverse or reverse retro. I can never remember that. So <laughs> we're just going to go with <laughs> retro reverse. Well, that guy was a little close there. Um, so anyhow, and I know they're doing that again next season. So Adidas will be unveiling another batch of those next season, which could get interesting. Uh, but <laughs> um, but I like it. You know, baseball, I like the fact that, you know, they're only putting out one a month. That helps collectors like myself. I mean, again, not to say I'll get every single one. But if it's something that I have interest in, and I feel I have more chance of getting it because they're only doing one a month. Now, you still have to move on it quick, depending on the player, because they they still go like that, the jerseys. Um, the hats, it depends. I think the Nationals one sold out real quick, but then they got restock in. I think the, uh, the Astros is still available pretty plentiful, uh, and also the Royals is still available pretty plentiful. And I know that just came out yesterday, but, but the... Uh, you know, the jersey, I guess it just depends on the player or the style. I think the Astros ones moved pretty quick because just the way they looked, everyone liked them for the most part. Uh, and uh, I guess it just depends. It's just kind of a feel thing. But it's like playing a stock board. You just have to, you, you, you're either going to move on it, you're not. And if you don't, then it's like, you know, or you're going to have a, a second shot at it sometime, you know. And, is what it is but um like i said I, I like the three that came out so far this year i think they all look good whether or not all i'll, I'll ever have all of them i i don't know you know we'll see like i said i was going to move on the royals but then a couple other things popped up that are more my my town related so i gotta move on that stuff i think a little more um but uh i like it you know i you know i you know, I guess I have to wait a year or however long it be until the Phillies do it, but kind of interested to see what they're going to do. Um, and then there's some other teams that I would be interested to see what they do. You know, you can kind of imagine, you know, depending on where these teams are located and what their kind of the background in some of these cities are, what these teams are going to do. Um, but it's going to be interesting. And, uh, you know, I think the one thing I will say is I kind of wish that the uh, the Cardinals did it this year because Pujols is back with the Cardinals, and that would have been kind of cool. Now, then again, they may not might, might not have made his jersey, but to have like a Pujols, you know, City Connect jersey. Even though I know he was on the Dodgers last year, make his jersey. <laughs> I don't think I would have gotten that one. I, that one, I just that's the one I think I'm the most disappointed with so far, just because it was very un unimaginative. Um, compared to everything else, you know. But, uh, you know, or if the Tigers did one this year. I don't think the Tigers are one of the teams this year. But shout out to Miggy, you know, getting his 3,000 hit. That was pretty cool. I remember him when he came up with the Marlins, obviously being in our division, the Phillies. And he was, man, he, he could always, he, he could always hit. He was the baby face assassin back in the day. Man. I do want to get his Marlins jersey and Tigers jersey someday. I always liked him. I just I never had his jersey, but I always liked him um, as a, as a ball player and uh, respect you know what he's done. 500 plus home runs, 3,000 plus hits. That's that's rare air right there, and he's certainly had a long and incredible career. But. Uh, yeah, I mean, if the Tigers did a City Connect, get a Mickey, you know, City, City Connect jersey, that would have been kind of cool. But, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe if he's still there next year and they, they do it, you know, get it then. But, you know, we'll see. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, obviously, you know, like I said, I'm kind of, you know, tied to the different billing cycle, right? So... Next one starts tomorrow. It's almost like the airplane on the tarmac ready for takeoff, you know? And then it gets tough because then, you know, when, when a billing cycle starts, you know, it's like a get out of jail thing. You know, you go kind of, <laughs> you, 
you go kind of crazy and then before you know it's like damn <laughs> now i gotta pick from the dollar menu for food and stuff <laughs> ah but no it's um you know it, it it's it's all good you know you learn this ranch can't make up its mind what it wants to do um but no, you learn as you go along. There's always going to be something that you hit on, some things that you miss on. That's just how the game's played. You know, you know hat-wise, I know uh, the fellas of Houston Vault, they've been very busy as always. I know they did their uh, their deal there at the uh, uh, Lids HHQ. They were the first to show off the Big League Chew uh, the, the set that lids dropped a couple weeks ago i got the i got i have the next video obviously it's not here so the next video i do for the end of life i'll, I'll do a couple pickups i did get one i got the phillies i got the cotton candy one i really like it and i haven't gone to a lids store so i got that one online because i figured that one wasn't going to hang i better get get that one and i really like it like when it came in the mail i opened that sucker up that box i'm like Oof. this i mean yeah, and it's not for everybody, you know, but the stitching is on point on that hat. And I'm not a huge pin guy on the hat, but I like the pin, you know. Um, you know, there was just, it looks really good. I think that collection, I think it looks wild and crazy. And they did like six or seven different, you know, hats per team because they were doing different flavors representing the big league shoe. So, um you know when you see them online they just look all sorts of crazy but when you see when you see them in hand and you see them in the store i think you get get more of an appreciation for them because they do look really nice the colors are vibrant the stitching is is incredible on them at least based off the one i have so i would kind of be interested to see what else is out there if you know as long as they're still kind of plentiful i know it's been a couple weeks but uh that's one of the things I want to get to this weekend, just to kind of look around. I'm going to do a little mall hopping. I'll probably do a vlog, so I plan on going back over to Cherry Hill. So I'll probably, I know I haven't done a, a vlog there yet, so I'll probably do a vlog from Cherry Hill. And I want to get over to another local mall and just kind of, you know, see what I can find. Um, you know, at, mainly at the lids, because I do want to see what else some of these, uh, you know, um, some of these... Uh, what you call them, the uh, Big League Chew Collection, you know, how, how, how some more of these hats were executed and all, when you see them in hand, you see them in person. And, uh, cause I, you know, and, and there were, like I said, there were some crazy colorways and crazy styles. And I like the fact that, you know, some of the teams like the Phillies, that they did, a, they did a mix. They did like the current logo and they did the throwback logo. And the cotton candy one I got has the, has the fat pee on there, the throwback logo. Um, and it looks really good. It looks bold and just, it pops on that hat in that colorway, which is like a light, like a light blue and pink and white. Um, they did a pinstripe version, uh, per, per team. They did just a regular on field fitted with the different stuff on there. They did like an all red one, I, I guess for cherry, they did a watermelon one. <laughs> Blueberry, I mean, they, they came out with, like, like I said, six or six or seven per team, representing the different flavors. And it was nice, you know, it was a nice set. I know they sold pretty good, I mean, online, I mean, you know, you know, and it was one of those things where I knew I could only, you know, just get the one, and I wanted, the, I wanted at least one of the Phillies ones. And I, 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 some of the ones that sold, I'm like, damn, man, I, <laughs> I probably would have been on them, so it is what it is. That's the blessing and the curse, like I've said before, of what's going on today with so much out there, so much, many different, you know, uh, 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 variety, so much variety of stuff, and you can only, you know, move on so much of it, and it makes it tough because you kind of have to make those decisions, and sometimes it's just a quick decision you have to make for as quick as some of this stuff can sell, and... Um, you know, it is what it is, but uh, that was the, I guess, the most recent hat. Big, big set. There's been others, obviously. Hat clubs, drop stuff, all these other sites. But, um, 
I know Liz HD has been doing some stuff, uh, as they do every week. Pro Image is starting to get back into it, you know, and locally. They've been dropping some stuff. I know Pierre, you know, got involved with working with them on making some hats. He said he's got some Philly stuff coming out. I look forward to that. I like the two Boston hats he put out that he helped to create for with uh, Pro Image. Um, good stuff. You know, there's a lot of good stuff out there. And I guess the one positive with it is if you miss out on something, there's going to be 10 other things that you're going to be able to go out after down the road. You know, it's just... It never stops. And Jersey-wise, is the same thing, you know? I mean, it, 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 there's always something. You know, there's always something. I mean, I know today I couldn't take advantage. It kind of sucked because right before the, the new billing cycle, uh, Mitchell nested a 30% authentic sale. And I want that 76 Bruce Cedar Cubs. That powder, that light blue, powder blue, you know, uh, uh, Cubs. And it was like, damn, one day just too... <laughs> They just couldn't throw it out there tomorrow. Because <laughs> sometimes it's a little, you know, I, I don't know. Sometimes it's a little funny, you know, when, when you when you use your card, it's either gonna most of the time. Like I, I know I can kind of get away with it in store if I get something. At least there's that couple days it takes to, you know, to come over official into your and it, you get charged for it within the next the next cycle instead of the current one. But I I always forget online if you have that kind of grace period because it's PayPal and stuff, I don't know, maybe I worry too much. But, uh, so I'm like, yeah, I can't do that. And obviously, store wasn't, I mean, I think the store would honor it, but I don't think they have that jersey. I don't think they have that Bruce Suter, at least in my size, 52. I know Slim's looking at me, oh, 56. I could get 52, Slim, don't you worry. Don't you worry, Slim, now, I see you. Festive sees you too. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> all choked up. Um, there's a mall right now. There's Springfield Mall. Um, so yeah, I uh, yeah, I couldn't take advantage of it. I, I know Rez has said in the past, you know, Mitchell Ness has done sales and he couldn't take advantage. And yeah, I know Rez. I haven't really taken the advantage of a lot of their different deals. I know from time to time, but. You know, this was one of them that kind of just popped up, and uh, it's like a, it's like a one day, you know, sale. And it was they they did a sale for Swingman stuff, and now they did something for Authentics and thirty percent. Is what it is, you know. It's just all about timing. Like you guys just couldn't just do it tomorrow, huh? It had to be today. <laughs> is what it is. Yeah, you know, it's it's you know it's money saved, you know to. to spend on other stuff <laughs> that's how it always goes but i know they'll be doing the father's day sale in june worst comes to worst i'll be more prepared for that one and uh i'll hopefully get my bruce suitor at that point you know cubs because i got his cardinals i want that cubs jersey um so yeah we're getting closer to my mom's here so um so there was that there was that, like I've said though, right? You know, hey, you know, when, when you see the pickups, which you're gonna see soon, <laughs> you're seeing what I'm able to get, but it's the things that I I can't go after. I you know, you don't you know, you're not always gonna be able to get everything you wanna, you know, be able to move on, you know, it just depends on when these things become available. And there is a lot of trial and error, there's a lot of hardships, there's a lot of misses. And I think within this series, you've seen that to this point, right? And you're seeing, you know, I'm talking about now a couple things I couldn't move on. Um, and sometimes, yeah, it's, it's, it's choosing one thing over another and, you know, miss out on that other thing. But, you know, it, you know, that's all part of it, too. You know, there's a lot that goes in, into this world of this wacky world of uh, collecting. And, uh, you know, we all have horror stories, you know, everyone in the, in the, in the, in the game, you know, we all have horror stories with it. We have, uh, stories of triumph and we have, uh, stories of, uh, horror. It's almost like a 30 for 30, you know, it's, <laughs> is that a spot? Indeed it is. Good. Glad to have a close spot in the rain. <laughs> oh my. 
All righty, well, it's about 25 minutes of blabbing on here while I was driving to uh, get to my mom's spot here, assisted living. She's doing okay, which is good. Um, and it's, uh, you know, hey, it's just, you never know. You know, the, the other thing about this is obviously you never know what life's going to throw at you, right? So this is kind of something that happened. And, you know, have to kind of, you know, deal with life events as we're also dealing with decision making and what you know what we want to do with hobby wise you know but there's there's life is always going to be is always going to come first so yeah but we all know that right we all know that I'm, not, not, I'm preaching to the choir there right so anywho uh i guess that's about it for this uh for this uh, on the road vlog hope you all enjoyed it a couple things to discuss um and uh, yeah, it's one of my shorter videos. So see, it is possible. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, uh, you all take care. Like I said, I will have a, another video up pretty soon, probably later in the week. I got some pickups to share as part of this series too. And I also will probably do a vlog from hopefully Cherry Hill. Uh, over the weekend so be on the lookout for that and that's gonna do it for me but thanks for uh hanging in here with me for 26 plus minutes almost 27 minutes hope everything's going well for everyone out there you all take care and um yeah what do you what do you always gotta do right you gotta leave the thumbs up leave those thumbs up you want to make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to hit the bell icon so you get notified to all future content from yours truly. And there will be you're, you're, there, there will be plenty more future content to come, whether it's from the road, whether it's vlogging in stores, whether it's at home. I don't know. The ballpark. You never know where, where, where you're going to see a video from me, right? Uh, with some with some friends, with some with some special guests. Right? You never know what's going to happen. So you always want to tune in. You always want to be notified with that bell icon. All right, everyone, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.